Hey everyone, this is Darren with Crazy Minnow Studio and welcome back to the second tutorial video for Timeline Salsa Core. This one follows up the how-to for the Salsa module and in this one we are going to be covering Emoter. So this is basically the scene we had when we left off from the first video and let me go ahead and stop this, hit the right button there. Let's Let's lock this so we're not losing focus on that every time we switch back and forth and let's make sure we're set up here i like to not use the snapping because it's hard to adjust these down where you want them so let's go ahead and add an emotor track motor control track and we'll put this on let's see let's put this one on the left guy and uh, the left guy, as I mentioned in the other video, the left guy is our perspective. So this is the left guy and this is the right guy, not from their perspective. So first thing we need to do is link an emotor uh, component here or bind it to this track. If we add the clip here, we'll see that we can't do anything with it because obviously we don't have an emotor assigned. So let's, we're doing this for the left guy. And again, just for reference here, if you're just hopping into this video, the left guy, I'm calling him because this one has my voice on him. And then the right one, I am calling her uh, because it has my wife's voice on it. Okay, so that's why we're doing that. Let's go ahead and uh, select an emote here. We notice that we've got this nice red dialog saying that an emote needs to be selected before we can do anything. So once we select an emote, then uh, it, that will go away. Uh, also, if you remember the earlier version, you had to actually type the emote name in here. It had to match exactly. So that was a little bit error prone. So right now we have a, a selection list and I have configured an emote here for this demonstration that I want to use, uh, which is going to be surprise. Let me go back in and I'll just show you that one's set up just like any other emote. It's not part of any pool. Okay. So the emoter control within timeline operates on the manual emote pool, which includes all emotes. Okay. Now the thing is, if you have an emote, let's look in the collection display mode here. If you have an emote set to any of these other pools and you're trying to control it with timeline, like especially the random pool, and it's not doing what you want, well, that's because it's probably firing randomly and it might be canceling out what you're trying to do or it might be firing it early or whatever. So generally speaking with these emotes that you're controlling with timeline, you want them to just be part of the manual pool, which means they're not part of any of these other pools. Uh, the random, the emphasizer, or the repeater. It, definitely, we don't want them to be part of the emphasizer. Now, if you're not running Salsa, I guess it really doesn't matter. But anyway, you get the point. If you want to read more about these membership pools, then you can check out the online documentation. So this one's configured with this surprise blend shape. And if we look at it, we see this is what he's going to look like. All right, this is full on. Uh, well, actually, it's not full on. With 60% of the max shape. So it, it could go up to... Uh, right about down here, which is a little too crazy. That's more crazy than we want. So let's set it back to 60. Let's turn off preview mode. Otherwise that'll be set up there when we first start up and we don't want that. And we see we've got these animation timings. These are uh, the copied timings, I think from the, let's see. Yeah, they're all the same on these guys. We can also go into quick little motor lesson here. We can go into these particular setups here in this collection display mode. We can look at surprise and we can see, if we click on this, uh, we can see the timings here and we can also adjust them if we want to, okay? So what that means is it'll take a quarter of a second for it to animate on. Uh, the hold is 0.1 seconds, but that does not apply when we're triggering it via timeline here. Okay, I'm stuttering because there's a couple of caveats to that. Uh, I'll get to that in just a second. The off is how long it will take to trigger off, to animate off. So when we look at this, this is a round trip, and we see that it's indicated as a round trip because we've got the greater than symbol here and the less than symbol here. 
If it were a one way, let me flip to one way real quick. We see we only have one of those symbols. And this is the on, means it's going on this way, right? And then if it's off, it flips it to that meaning that once it hits this, it's going to turn off. All right. So let's go back to round trip. Now, round trip is operated by the length of the clip. So that's why when I kind of was stuttering around there on the hold time, let me collapse this. We're back here. This is the one we're using surprise. Hold time doesn't matter per se, because what it's going to do is it's going to calculate based on our on and off time. So that's a little less than half of a second. And we have this guy set up to be, uh, right now it's about five seconds there, right? There, exactly five seconds. And that means it's going to adjust that hold time to be five seconds minus the on and off time. So it will an start animating on here at this, let me move this pointer over here, at this edge, and it will complete its animation off here, okay? Now, you might see where there could be a problem. So if we made this clip, you know, shorter than half a second, it, it's like, well, what does it do? So it, it, it's not going to do probably what you want it to do at that point. So you need to make sure you give it enough time so that the on and off timings can complete within the scope of this clip size, right? Or clip length, I, I, probably a better, better term for it. So we're going to use surprise here because if we remember from the first video, he starts talking and then she starts talking over him and then he starts talking over her, right? So we want him to be surprised once she starts talking. So let me go ahead and I don't know if we need him to be surprised the whole time. We can, you know, whatever. that. Uh, but we'll have him start maybe just shortly after she starts talking. Okay, so this is what this looks like. Let's go ahead and start it. The unique technology behind He's talking. provides high quality lip sync automation for your 2D and 3D. And then she starts talking and he gets all with a zero upset with it and then he gets over it, right? Okay, so, you know, obviously you'll probably want to tune this a little bit, maybe make it so that the animation on and off don't happen quite as quickly and whatever, what have you, right? Uh, but anyway, that's what we're going to do here. And then um, let's do for her. We're going to add another motor track. This is going to be for her, so let's drag her in there. Remember, this is this is not binding to this object. It's binding to this component, this uh, emoter component that's on this object. All right, so this is the right one. And let's have her. I, I also have an emote configured on her called Sleepy. All right, so let's add the clip. And we'll have her get Sleepy, I don't know, pretty much right after he starts talking, right? But we want her to just stay sleepy. For right now, we're going to have her stay sleepy through the end of the timeline track here. And so for that, we need, first off, let's select sleepy. And then what we'll want is a one way. We'll talk about dynamics here in a second. So what'll happen, and, and remember, the clip length doesn't matter in one way. It could be any length. Because what's going to happen is it's going to trigger on at that leading edge. Boom and then it'll stay on the whole time. And then what we'll do is we have to add another clip to turn it off. But for right now, we're just gonna turn it on. The She's gonna go sleepy. Salsa it looks kind of bad there, right? Automation anyway, it's not turning off, right? So it's, it'll last the whole time, in real time even while she's talking. For pre All right, so what we wanna do is add another clip to turn it off. Add our motor control, let's select sleepy. You notice we could have multiple clips on here for multiple emotes. And if you need them to overlap, we can always put them on another track. We'll demonstrate that in a second. So uh, this one needs to turn off. So it's a one way off, right? And again, this one triggers right here on this leading edge. This could be any length, doesn't matter. It could be like really, really, really tiny or it could be big or whatever, it doesn't matter. It's wherever that leading edge is, that's where it's going to stop. So uh, we'll, tr we'll put it right here. So as soon as she, uh, right before she starts talking, let's do it like right here. So right here is when it's gonna trigger off. So 
We trigger on, she's sleepy salsa. time, Provides high quality and she's still sleepy, and then and off, okay? Audio files in real All right, now what if we want, let's go ahead and leave her kind of sleepy throughout this whole thing, right? Pretty much through the whole thing. We want it to be whatever, right up to there. But we want it to look, see, okay, so it's a little bit static. Well, it's just like his surprise, right? Behind the salsa but see, so she's just sitting here and, and she just very static. TV so the only thing TV you're seeing is like the head move and then the eyes move. Now, obviously, there's other things going on here once she starts talking because that's salsa communicating with emoter and doing the emphasis emote. So what we can do is apply dynamics. And what this will do is this. So this is the amount, how, how big the changes will be. We'll just put them down here kind of low, and this is how frequently they'll occur. So right now it's set for every two tenths of a second, okay? And then we want this, I don't know, we'll just guess. Let's just put it, you know, I don't know, almost almost 20%, right? So 20% changes. Let's start it. The unique technology behind the salsa. Okay, so we can see, we can see a little bit of movement here. It looks pretty natural. It looks like her face is just kind of moving, right? Uh, let me go ahead and change that so we can see a little bit more. Uh, well, maybe not that much. And then we'll do this about, I don't know, every second. So you can kind of see what the difference is. The unique technology behind the salsa Boom. provides One, high quality two, lip sync automation three, for your 2D and 3D four. Okay, so we see it's it, every second it's applying a, a change to it. You know, that may or may not be what you want, but in this instance, I think uh, I like it down here about this, I don't know, two tenths of a second, and I don't think we need that much. We just want something uh, just very subtle. Very subtle. All right. The unique technology behind the salsa. Yeah, it looks like it, it looks like your face is just kind of, you know, organically moving. All right. What if you have something that you want to trigger at the same time? How do you do that? Well, right here, if we wanted to put something else in and we were within this section here, we could we could add another emote. But in the instance where it's overlapping what you've got, so this round trip, so we've got a round trip that is you know whatever we want it this long right and then we want something else to be fired maybe midway through that well you can't do that here so what you do is you just add another uh emoter whoops add another emoter control track let's go ahead and move this up and then we link it to the same one left guy and then now we can add whatever we want in here so uh we'll add another emote Hmm. Uh, let's see, he's not going to be talking here, so uh, we could reuse one of these emphasis emotes. So let's do browse up. Yeah, that'll work. If we, if we open it up here, we see that it's round trip, right? So this is going to control the length of it. We'll make it two seconds. There we go. Somewhere in the middle there. We don't want him to be talking because we don't want our emphasis emotes, because that's what that is. We don't want our emphasis emote to conflict with it. So let's see what happens. The unique well, technology he's talking, she's sleepy. Provides high quality lip sync automation for your 2D and 3D salsa character. And then he's surprised. Oh, in real time okay. Well, with a zero requirement for <laughs> fail. All right. That was a fail. All right. Because the surprise had the eyebrows go up anyway. So that, uh, but you might have seen they jumped up a little bit higher. Um, so here, let's add another emote to him just to make sure we're demonstrating what we're trying to demonstrate here. All right, let's add one more new emote. Going to copy the settings from the previous one and let's go in here and see what we want to use. Uh, how about tongue out? Yeah, let's use tongue out. That sounds good. Right, what, what does that look like? Yeah. Boop. All right. That's kind of weird looking like they didn't do that quite right. But anyway, all right, tongue out. Maybe he needs to open his mouth first. Let's go ahead and add that. Mouth O. Maybe this will work. Let's see. I don't know. It looks a little bit funky there. I don't know. Anyway, you'll get the point. So we'll do this tongue. So we know which one it is. All right. And let's go back up here. And this one, this is the one we want. We want it to be tongue. Okay. So what will happen is that 
what we've got configured there and that we still have configured there. We need to turn that off. Okay. So this will do a round trip just like, just like we did before, but hopefully we'll be able to see it this time. The unique technology behind the Salsa provides high quality lip sync automation for your 2D and 3D Salsa character. He's surprised. And then, and oh, there it goes his the tongue. There goes his tongue back in. That looked we'll totally weird. But Great anyway, you get the idea. If you want to overlap them, you can add another to track. Easily breathe triple A quality life into your characters. I believe that is probably about all we need to know about a motor at this point. We've covered round trips, we've covered one ways, we've, we've covered dynamics, we've covered adding multiple emotes on the same character. And I think that's about it. So I hope this was entertaining and educational. And as always, we look forward to seeing what you create. Stay tuned for the next video, which is going to cover eyes. So we'll see you in the next video. Take care.